The first board I made was um, like it took me because it was a timber board and it, it took me a year to build it because I thought about it so much and tried to work out how to make it and build it and, and sort of reverse engineer it all back out into a into a finished shape. It actually turned out not too bad. I look at it probably look at it a little bit now and um, and it's a little bit crude and, and you know the rails aren't very refined but like I, I, I built it, I made it, I blasted it and I paddled it out and, and it served and it worked and it was, that was just like, like as soon as you had, you've done that and you, you've built it by hand and you, you've done it from scratch um, and you catch your first wave on it like the, you just absolutely were hooked on that that stoke and that feeling. As soon as I finished the first one, I had ideas for the second one, so I started the second one, and then you know, the mates surfed the first one, and then they wanted a board, so then you know, I, was, I made one for a friend, my third board was for a mate, um, and then you know, growing surfboards kind of evolved out of that. I loved it. The ability to be able to you know, take, a, take a block of foam, or a, you know, a blank, or a, you know, an idea, and then create it into a finished product that you can paddle out. It's, uh, it's probably one of the best feelings there is.